Hey, what's up? It's Nate. I'm online. DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats. It is 5.45 p.m. on a Wednesday. I've already done a few orders, but I'm just getting the video kicked off right now. So far, so good. It is raining a little bit. It's not raining too bad. It's supposed to rain all night, so we'll see how that really goes. But I also went out at lunchtime today, which is what brings me to my first order of business for this video. Got a parking ticket, which is very annoying. I was delivering. I accidentally took an order going downtown the state's capital going to a state representative office building. Got to take it for parking in a no parking zone. $35, which seems pretty insane. But I'm going to Dash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, whatever, to see how long it takes me to make the money to pay this parking ticket because that really put a damper on my lunch earnings today. I guess it is what it is. I don't take orders downtown for that reason because parking can be difficult during the day when it's busy. Parking enforcement there is... Uh, they enjoy the revenue that they generate. I'll say that much about it. Anyway, I do need to pay this ticket, so I'm going to see. Hopefully, maybe I can do it in an hour or a little more than an hour and just get it over with and get that paid. Okay, if this order goes well, it should put a pretty good dent in that ticket cost. I think 14 something going about six miles on Uber Eats. So uh, from Outback Steakhouse, which is right up the road here. Sometimes they're a little slow, but Uber Eats orders are generally done when I get there so hopefully it is just a couple items on the order headed towards downtown but I don't think it's actually downtown plus it's uh, almost 6 p.m. so you know most of those government employees are long gone by now okay well that Outback order will not make a dent in my ticket fine uh, because they said the orders three people have shown up already to pick up the order and someone already took it so cool cancel that one got a couple like bad orders on DoorDash since then. Uh, I just pulled away. $2.50, like $13 for 13 miles. I don't really want to do that either. Hopefully we get something. All right, I just grabbed an order on DoorDash for Carrabba's $6.50 for two miles. I think two items, so hopefully it's ready pretty soon. I've got to turn around and go pick it up. Hopefully this one goes better than the Outback order. All right, so I'm waiting at Carrabba's. Nobody has come out and few minutes I don't know I'm kind of okay with the weight because I just picked up a big order on Grubhub 18 something for about six miles from Red Robin which is right next door but I know that order isn't ready big order and it's on Grubhub and the pickup time isn't for another 10 minutes so there's no way it's ready so I'm hoping they come out I can get this one get it delivered because it's only a mile or so away and then grab the Grubhub order and take that one there's a bunch of cars piling up here and I haven't seen anybody I see some bags in there. It looks like there's some orders ready. Well, I got the food. She ran back in to get the drink. So that's progress. Here's that for you. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, 1.5 miles to the drop-off. Looks like it's at a hotel third floor, so it'll take me just a second to drop it off, but it should be a quick drive, and then I'll be able to head back. Continue on North should be perfect Price timing to pick up that Red Robin order. Okay, I got that dropped off. It took a little longer than I wanted it to just because there was a family trying to navigate six months worth of luggage on the small elevator. So I took the stairs up, tried to take the elevator down, but then of course the family showed up right when I tried to get on the elevator. Uh, anyway, not a big deal. Got it delivered, no hidden tip, 650 on that. Still a decent order. I mean, it was one and a half miles. So that's pretty good. Headed to Red Robin to pick up this $18 Grubhub order. If you've seen my videos, you probably noticed that I don't like have a lot of action shots with my camera where I'm take the, I don't take the camera to do drop offs or anything very often. I took it into that hotel and this is exactly why I don't. I was all alone tooling along with my camera, no big deal. Come around the corner, there was a lady standing there, look directly at the camera and we were both standing there waiting to get on the elevator. So I like put it away but to turn it off, I have the beeps on on my GoPro, and so it beeps a lot, and she looked really uncomfortable. It was it was stressful. That's why I don't do it. I see creators take their camera all sorts of places and record all sorts of things, and I'm like, man, I just don't have the balls to do that, but maybe someday.
thank you. Okay, super easy, leave at door drop off, 18 something for that delivery. So that brings us pretty close to $25 towards my parking violation fine. Make about 10 more bucks and then I can put that one in the rear view mirror. And then uh, avoid downtown orders. It wasn't even that good of an order. That's, what's, that's what sucks about it. It wasn't even that good of an order that I took, but. Oh well. Okay, I got a DoorDash order for uh, Patton Wings, which is in inside of Buffalo Wild Wings. Six seventy five, going one point eight miles. Six seventy five is a strange dollar amount, so I don't know if it got passed around or what. But six seventy five for one point eight miles is a pretty darn good order. And then when I was almost here, they stacked me with a Buffalo Wild Wings order, six dollars for an additional three or three point three miles. So that's a pretty good order too. Potential for a hidden tip on both of them. Hopefully that's the case. But either way, if they both go well, that twelve dollars should give me enough money to pay my fine plus the one dollar processing fee that i found that they have if you paid online you can also go there and pay in person but then you have to pay for parking they got you over a barrel hopefully the food's ready i'm gonna go in and get it okay i got both buffalo wild wings well one was pant wings one was buffalo wild wings got them both picked up they're here ready to go we've got uh i think it was one point one point two miles to the first drop off the other one is about three miles beyond that we are good to go let's get them dropped off and then i can pay that ticket Okay, so that drop off was easy enough. Hidden tip on that one, it ended up being $12.75 instead of the $6.75. So a $10 tip, $6 of it was hidden, which is just crazy to me that DoorDash does that. Uh, but anyway, that should get me right about at $35. So that's enough to pay the ticket. It is now 7.18 p.m. So I believe I started at 5.45. I'll put the actual times on the screen right here, but I think it took an hour and a half. It's a lot of time to work to pay a fine. Also on that delivery, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Uh, you probably won't because even if you can see his face, I'll blur it. But it's interesting to me when the instructions say hand to customer, you knock on the door, you hear people and there's a delay. And then every time it seems they come to the door immediately looking down like they expect they're expecting you to leave the food but hey your instructions say hand to customer i'm gonna wait a reasonable amount of time to hand it to you i think a lot of people just expect you to drop it and go which is great i love doing that but that's what the instructions need to say if they say hand to customer i'm gonna try all right so we are headed to the second drop off 3.2 miles Okay, I actually just delivered an order from Applebee's on Grubhub. It was 11.27 for about two and a half miles total. I forgot to record it. My wife distracted me, but I love her, so I guess that's okay. It was a short wait at the restaurant, but not bad. Definitely worth the money. All right, I just got another order from Applebee's on Grubhub, nine something for about two and a half miles. and probably a mile from the store, so the delivery should be pretty close too. I'm gonna head over there. I doubt it's ready considering it's Grubhub, but it is 8 p.m., so things are gonna start to slow down anyway. I'm gonna head over there, hope it's ready, pick it up, get it delivered. Okay, I got the Applebee's picked up short weight as is expected for Grubhub orders, 2.1 miles to the drop off. All right, it's now 8.15 p.m. I just got an order. It's not a great order, but it's headed towards home, so I'm gonna take it since it's getting late and things kind of slow down. It's like 7.75 for five miles or so from Taqueria El Chaparrito. I don't speak Spanish at all. I'm gonna run in, grab the food, and we'll get it delivered. Okay, the food was ready when I went in there, so that was awesome. 5.5 miles to the drop off the delivery instructions. A little interesting. Hand it to me. Knock hard, please. She might be asleep. So I might be waking someone up to give them food hopefully they're expecting it i don't know let's see how it goes all right got that dropped off everyone was awake so it wasn't as awkward as i thought it could be trying to rouse someone out of bed but uh, i'm gonna call it quits now it is 8 30 so that order took right about 15 minutes 775 for it no hidden tip or anything but it did take me closer to home so i'm okay with that so we met our goal I made enough money. I think it took about an hour and a half which is a bummer but made enough money to pay the parking ticket uh, and then, you know, dash some more. So I think just in the video, I think we stopped right around $70, $72 or something like that. About two hours and 45 minutes, I think. So what, $25, $26 an hour? That's not bad. Of course, I did a couple orders before I started recording. Then I went out at lunch also. So not a bad day really for a Wednesday 
day. I'm in the way here. That is going to be it for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. Questions, comments, concerns, anything else you want to say in the comment section. And thanks for watching.